all right so i bought the happy model epw6 pwm express lr Civo, and i bought this to use with my rc car for long range fpv but turns out there's a big problem with the epw6 receiver so as soon as we supply power to the receiver the receiver has a solid green light all the time basically what that indicates is one if the receiver is in bootloader mode and the other is if the receiver is bound to a transmitter module but in this case the receiver is stuck in bootloader mode so let me show you what i mean so to power up the receiver i'll be using this ftdi adapter and i'll supply 5 volts to the receiver so i've connected the ftdi to the computer and you can see that the receiver is powered up and it has a solid green light on it so i contacted happy model earlier because i had the same problem with the previous receiver so they sent me a replacement which is this one and even this has the same problem it has a solid green light all the time so it's stuck in bootloader mode and happy model says that they have flashed the pwm firmware on the receiver and it should be working but it does not and there are a lot of posts on facebook and youtube where they have reported the same problem with this epw6 receiver so if you want to buy a pwm express solaris receiver stay away from this happy model epw6 receiver and look for any other pwm receiver uh, like the matic or beta fpv now i'm not sure if this problem is only with the epw6 or even the epw5 which is the five channel pwm 2.4 gigahertz receiver uh, so i'm not sure if that has the same problem as this one but at least with the two epw6 receivers that i've had they are basically bricked or stuck in bootloader mode and i've tried the ftdi method to update the firmware and every time i try that i get the timed out packet header error in express lrs config and i even reached out to express lrs discord page or the group to uh, help solve the issue and the devs over there suggested that to solder the wires directly on the pwm1 and the pwm2 tx uh, pad instead of using these wires but i tried all of those methods and the receiver just wouldn't uh, escape the bootloader so basically i'm not able to flash firmware on this receiver and that's the end of the story so because i even contacted happy model and they said that even they don't have a fix for this problem uh, all they suggested was to jump the pwm1 and ground pad and then connect the tx and rx to the ftd adapter and try to flash the firmware and i tried that numerous times and it and it hasn't worked then they even suggested to solder the receiver to a uart or try different uarts on a flight controller and then try the beta flight pass through method but even that doesn't work so the model of the story is that there is some hardware defect on the receiver i would strongly suggest don't buy it and stay away from this and as a side note when i was looking for a solution for the solid green light on this receiver on facebook and youtube and some of the forums i also read that a lot of happy model receivers have a problem with the solid green light and the epw6 is not the only one but the other happy model receivers uh, eventually work and the firmware can be flashed but there's something about this receiver that's definitely faulty happy model does know about this problem and the best thing that you can do is uh, let's say if you have bought this receiver accidentally and it has the green light problem you can contact happy model and ask for a replacement 
and they will provide you with a replacement at least the first one and hopefully if the replacement receiver works then that's great but if it doesn't then there's not much that happy model can help you with maybe they'll provide you with one more replacement but even that may not work so there's no point in spending that much time playing back and forth so the best is to avoid this receiver and buy something else that's the bottom line and just as the previous receiver that i had i'm gonna dump this and get rid of it because to be honest i don't want to spend any of my time trying to fix this receiver and uh, waste my time so the best would be to just throw this and move on to a new receiver so thanks for watching and that's all that to share